Yo, 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 what's good, fam? Welcome to PNP. It's Rashad, the man of the people. And today I got another draft profile video for y'all. This time we got Kyle Hamilton, safety out of Notre Dame. Now, before we get into this, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and all that good stuff. We are on the road to 12,000 subscribers before the season starts. We got to get there. Okay, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And if you're on Newsbreak, you watch it on Newsbreak, you're a fan of the channel, just hit that follow button, man. It helps us out tremendously. So just support the channel. That's the best way you can support the channel is that subscribe button and the follow button on Newsbreak. All right, now let's go ahead and get into it. Kyle Hamilton, man, this kid is special. And I feel like we haven't seen a safety like this in a long time. Go back to last year's draft class, Trevon Morig, Richie Grant, Andre Sisko. Them dudes was nice. But I feel like Kyle Hamilton is better than them cats. And if he was eligible to come out last year, I feel like this cat would have been the best safety on the board. Okay, he would have been his best safety. My opinion might be a little bit of of a hot take there it is what it is I'm gonna own up to it but this cat is special and I like it let's get let's get into it all right Kyle Hamilton six foot four yes you've seen it first six foot four 219 pounds okay this dude is not built like no sucker okay 220 at six foot four this cat is nice and we'll get into it you'll see it on the film this cat can move okay he ain't just no six foot four slow cat this guy is rangy, he can play all over the place, strong safety, free safety, wherever you want to put him, this dude is going to be effective. But let's go ahead and talk about 2020. 63 tackles, 51 of those are solo, four and a half of those were for loss, one interception, six pass breakups in 11 games. All right, this cat, again, really, really good player. His performance last year earned him first team all ACC honors uh, in 2020, So, as, and this was his first year as a full time starter this cat did damage his his freshman year too um, but improved upon that performance in 2020 and if he does that if he does that same he gives that same effort to improve his game he will be an absolute monster all right let's get into it pff's college football preview magazine and go let's go get straight into it okay snaps by alignment last year 321 snaps is a free safety that's a lot of snaps of free safety. That's where they put him uh, for the bulk of the snaps. But you can also see him lined up in the box. You can see him play uh, some reps in the slot as well. So they just lined this cat all over the place. And he even took some reps at cornerback. So this dude, it, can, you can put him anywhere. He's going to be effective. But I feel like between box safety or strong safety and free safety, I feel that's where you're going to get your best bang for your buck. Free safety, I feel like, and that's I'm a Panthers fan, so I feel like that's something we're missing. Uh, you don't want to stick Jeremy Chin uh, at a, in that free safety. I feel like that's, you know, he's more of a linebacker type. So you want to put him in, as, in at the box. But if you got this cat and put him in at a free safety, I think that's where he's going to be most effective. So if you need a free safety, this dude should be on your radar. And I'm not just talking about Panthers fans. I'm talking about any fan base. If you need a free safety, this dude can do it, okay? Now let's get into the strengths and weaknesses for this guy, man. Listen. His strengths, he's going to have good speed. This dude is rangy. That's what I'm telling you. Put him at free safety. He's got good range. You will see it on the film that I pulled. Dude is nice, okay? He's got good size. I mean, elite size. Six foot four, 220 pounds. And I'm sure he's going to continue to bulk up. I mean, and imagine what he's gonna, the damage he's going to do when he actually has an NFL facility to train at. And the NFL trainers. This dude's going to put on some weight. He's going to bulk up. And I'm telling you, that's going to be scary, man. Kyle Hamilton, Hamilton is going to be a problem. Tackling ability, awesome, awesome tackler. Open field, I'm not scared for him to go one-on-one -on -one with anybody. You're not going to run him over. He's a physical dude. In fact, matter of fact, that might be a slight weakness of his that he's too physical at times. He did get ejected, and I have that film pulled up where he did get ejected against UNC for targeting. He's aggressive. He's no punk. Six foot four, 220. He uses it. He uses his weight well. He throws it around, and the dude can bang, all right? Weaknesses, I would like to see a little bit more ball production. And that by, by that, I mean, I want to see some more interceptions. I want to see some more pass breakups, okay? I know he had a nice amount. I think he had six pass breakups last year. One interception. I'd like to see him get a little more. And I think that's going to come along with time. Again, he's only a junior. Or, excuse me, he's only going into his junior year. 
So now he, he still has a whole new year to, to develop. And I feel like with this year, this year with a full non-COVID season, this dude's going to have his full talents on display. I think you're going to see more turnovers. You're going to see him pick some more footballs off. And th those ball skills are really going to take his prospect to a whole nother level. All right, let's get into some of these highlights. All right, this play right here, you're going to see uh, some good ball skills. This is what we just talked about, right? He's tracking this guy right here across the across the middle. And just look at the range. Look, look what he's able to do here. And he's so long. He's so long. He's able to get, get his paws on the football, man. Look at this. Nice reach around without without a PI. That's just great ball skills right there. Again, that's one of his past breakups. I'd like to see a little bit more of that going on into next season. But that's just an example that is there. He just got to pull it out, okay? He's going to be nice. He's going to be nice. All right, right here. This is, man, this is, again, this is a solid, solid play right here. This is good, good range. You can see him right here, Kyle Hamilton right here. So we back it up. We can kind of track where he's coming from. And he's got good range. Good range right here. Tracking. Look look how far he has to travel while the ball's in the air. He's got good length. And he can, he's able to get there to knock the ball down. So this is great, great talent. Good range. Good range by, uh, by Kyle Hamilton right there. Here's another one. Good, just good ball skills, man. Good ball skills. Again, without... A PI without a PI, he's able to get those long arms out there, just knock the ball down, man. This dude, I'm telling you, man, this is nice. All right, here we go. This is again, this is one where he actually got the turnover. This is a pick, it's gonna be a pick six, and you can see his break. Look at his break on the ball. Look at his break on his ball. He's down here. Look at the break. Good break. It was a bad throw. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's a bad throw. But the fact he was able to break on that ball, notice notice where the football was going, take off, good speed too. I think he's gonna have good speed. He's gonna run a good 40 too. Uh, don't 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 sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. All right, here we go. This is this is another underrated aspect of his game: the ability to come up and run support, bro. This is a good. And I told you about this open field tackling earlier. Take a look at this right here. One on one, right here. Fourth and one. Look at the the down the, the situation. Fourth and one, right here. You see the line. I know it's a little blurry, but you see that line right there. Fourth and one, quarterback takes off, boom, open field tackle, stopped it, turnover on downs, really good play by uh, by Kyle right there. All right, so this is the play right here where he gets ejected, targeting a little bit too aggressive, bro. You got to dial it back just a little bit. He, My, my man's a little wobbly, okay, a little wobbly. Might have hurt himself on that play, but you got to be able to hone in. That was a big game too, okay, so I get it. You gotta just bring dial back the aggression just a tad. You don't want to hurt nobody. You don't want to hurt nobody permanently. So let's just dial that back just a tad. But I think he's gonna hone it in. He'll be he'll be fine. He's got a whole year to kind of rein that rein that in. All right. This is a play right here that I like a lot. Another run support. Look at look at where he's coming from. Way back here. This is him right here. He shoots his gap. Shoots his gap. Boom. Open field tackle. Not open field, but good tackle in the backfield. On Travis Etienne, somebody who is difficult to bring down. Okay, shoestring tackle, great play. Another one, showing his range. Look at where he had to come from. And this, the play, this is not a play that that went his way. But uh, look at look at his range and where he came from. Right here, he's gonna cover this slot guy right here. Just watch out, watch out. Look at that, and just think, just think about the possibilities you're able to do with Kyle. Uh, Hamilton okay you have him out there he's able to make up so much speed that you can disguise your coverages man and I, I think that's going to be underrated aspect to his game is what you're going to be able to do with him in the long term he's so good he's so rangy that you're going to be able to put him anywhere on the field disguise your coverages he can make the move at the last minute and get where he needs to be in time this is a guy I'm really really excited about man he might I don't, I don't know man I, I, I for sure think he's going to be a first round uh, safety I just don't know where, you know, people start to devalue the safety position. But this kid right here is special. I like him a lot. I'm a huge fan. And I can't wait to see where he goes, all right? So that being said, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Get in these comments. Let me know what's good, all right? Road to 12,000. Help us out. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, let me know what's up, all right? That being said, I'm out. Peace.